I'm back at this job. I just want to show you the progress. Okay, so right now I have that unit. I have it on those, uh, I forget what they call those mounts, mighty bracket, whatever. And I'm going to connect that copper to it. And also, I got this great idea. I got this great idea from a friend. I think you guys are gonna like it too. Using these aluminum downspouts for line set covers, I think it looks better even than galvanized sheet metal. So, first time that I'm gonna put up, you're gonna like them. That is perfect. that it doesn't go all the way through. It has to stop in the middle. All right, so we're getting ready to run the copper for the 24K unit. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into that, do that vent right there. But first, I'm gonna tape the entire line set so that it doesn't tear as much, so it doesn't get as damaged. Some more? Yeah, keep it coming. Hold on. More. What did you say? More. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so right now I'm strapping. I'm gonna strap the copper all the way across. On the way back, I'm bringing back the control wire because what I usually do is I put the control wire on the unit, the indoor unit, and then in this case I have to detach the control wire because it comes connected with the line set, at least from this door it does. So I just separate them to it so I can run the copper easier without damaging anything. So now I'm gonna go that way, put all the straps and the way back between the wire with me and just tape it. Cause I have to exit this way anyways. All right, 
this message goes out to everybody that asks, why does it cost so much? Why does it cost so much to install this? This is why. This is why. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> does this look easy to you? It's a lot of hard work. Especially when you're in your 50s. Okay, so this is RAM. There's the power and communication wires and the line set ready to go now i'm actually going to use that line set and i'm going to run it through run it through that there it's going to go underneath the house and it's going to come out through here and connect to this copper and then the leftover copper that i have there is going to be used to connect that unit right there. Here's a condenser. Oh my god. Look, the sun's going down as usual. But yeah, nothing to it but to do it. That bit, that whole saw bit, is very dull. Hard to make that angle right there. I'm trying to avoid having to crawl back in there to loosen up the strap and move the copper in, but I'll probably have to do that anyways if, if, if this doesn't work. So, let's see, let's see what happens. Yeah, definitely gonna have to go under and loosen that strap. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. All right, there we go. So, I had to go down there and unscrew the strap and pull the line set a little bit, give it a little bit of a curve. So now it flush pretty much the wall or parallel, whatever you want to call it. All right, so now I'm gonna peel off some of that insulation and do that bend and connect those flare fittings. 